Welcome back, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. My name is Pratesh with Kaizen Crypto. In this video, we're talking about Cardano block size increases. The Cardano Summit 2021 NFTs available via Terra Virtua, as well as how early are we within the Cardano NFT scene? So jumping right into the video today, we see on IOHK's Twitter, they've posted an update saying that today, Monday, April 25th, we will see the Cardano mainnet block size increase by eight kilobytes. So it was 80 kilobytes. It's going to be going to 88 kilobytes. What this is, is allowing us to scale the blockchain via on-chain solutions. There are other things that are being worked on right now, like pipelining, input endorsers, as well as Hydra. But these are some of the changes that they can take immediately to help optimize the throughput of the network. So this is going to be taking place today at the turn of the epoch. So great to see this from IOHK. It's a slow, methodical process that they've taken, but it has been working so far. So great to see that. Next up, I wanted to go ahead and share with you all the Cardano Summit 2021 NFTs are now live. This was really exciting to see. Uh, they've used Terra Virtua. I didn't even know that Cardano was actually integrated with Terra Virtua, but they've got a blog showing you how to claim your NFTs. It's really cool. They've got like this whole VR metaverse type of thing where you can actually see your NFTs in this virtual world. They've got a video walkthrough as well as some frequently asked questions. So there are seven total NFTs. You can mint as many or as little as you like. It's going to be five ADA for one to five NFTs, six ADA for six NFTs, and seven ADA for seven NFTs. I went through the process to try and claim mine, but unfortunately when I linked up my wallet and created the account. It didn't show any in my Cardano inventory. So I did a little bit more research and apparently this was actually part of their virtual world. You had to actually find these NFTs within the world to be able to claim them. So I went to the in-person event at Wyoming, which was a lot of fun. Uh, at the end of this video, actually, if you wanted to see some of the highlights from that, I'll leave that video clip for you so you can check it out. But uh, the NFTs are going to be available to claim. I really do like the artwork. If you're like me and didn't get the opportunity to get the codes for any of these NFTs, I've been taking a look at the secondary on jpeg.store. This is one of the marketplaces where they're listed. And you can see here that some people are already selling them. So just food for thought if you're interested in picking up some of these NFTs, but you weren't able to find any or claim any. In this case, there is the secondary market available. Now, considering just how early are we within the Cardano NFT space, I think it's really interesting just to see some of the sale prices of NFTs that we've seen recently on Cardano. Just putting that into comparison with other NFTs on other blockchains, namely Ethereum, I think that in terms of NFTs and uh, other networks where they are very popular, I would think just a couple come to mind in that case would be Ethereum with Ford Apes. Uh, mutant apes, you know, a whole bunch of other projects on Ethereum, uh, also Solana, uh, but there's a whole bunch of different controversies around each of those networks, and yet still people hold NFTs for these platforms. So just to put things into perspective, Bored Apes are now at a 139 ETH floor, and if you're wondering what that is in ADA, that's 459,000 ADA. Could you imagine? I mean, just to think about some of the previously sold NFTs that we've seen on Cardano, I don't think we've ever seen one this high. Even for the Charles Hoskinson Space Bud, one that you would think would probably just rocket to the moon. But that's exactly my point in this case, is that I still think that we are incredibly early. I think the NFT scene on Cardano has yet to really gain traction to the point where it's just completely taken off. Uh, of course, it is still not as well known as NFTs on Ethereum, but that's just because of a lot of what mainstream has been promoting in this case. But I think that going forward, as people become more aware of Cardano, as the uh, ecosystem begins to evolve and grow, we will definitely see some of these blue chip NFT projects on Cardano really start to take off. So that's my opinion on that. Just to think about where we are, how far we've come and where we are going. I still think that Cardano NFTs have a long way to go. Now, if you do hold NFTs, it is a best practice to make sure that any NFTs that you hold that are of high value are treated like gold, just like you would with your private keys for your ADA holdings. Your NFTs could be just as valuable, if not more valuable than your ADA stack. 
We see here the Board Ape Yacht Club Instagram and Discord has been hacked. Over $13 million worth of NFTs have been stolen. I don't want to get into the details, but the point that I'm trying to make here, so this was actually just breaking news today. Make sure that you have your NFTs held in cold storage. If they're not within a smart contract, like let's say you're not trying to actively sell it on a marketplace, there's no reason that you should be having your NFTs exposed via your social media accounts. So this is just a lesson. It's a best practice. Make sure that you have your NFTs held in cold storage. And finally, just to provide a little bit of perspective on where we are right now with the crypto markets and specifically talking about ADA, I don't typically talk about price here on the channel, but I just wanted to provide a little bit of insight as we've been seeing quite a few red days recently. You know, it's kind of disheartening to see that the ADA price, considering the amount of fundamental developments that have been continuing to take place, um, you know, just with the rest of the market, right? Cardano is going to do what Bitcoin does. The rest of the market is also down. So there's nothing that Cardano is feeling that others aren't necessarily feeling as well. We've seen lower highs and lower lows. And in terms of what I'm looking at for any type of reversal, right? In order for us to be able to break out of this, it's going to happen on the shorter term timeframes. I'm not really looking at anything shorter than a day for a longer term trend like this. But we are hoping to put in a higher low. That's what we're going to be looking out for now. We are, we are right there, right? The low that we put in was back when we heard about all the stuff with the war in Ukraine about March of 2022, so about a month ago. And we are right here. We are right here. We're about like 86, 87 cents. So if we're able to hold support, that would put us at 78 cents. But that's the area I'm keeping an eye on, right? If we're if we're going to continue this downtrend, then we're going to be breaking below that 78 cents. And that that could be uh, pretty painful for us ADA holders. So we're hoping we don't get to that point, but that's what I'm looking at in terms of the current trend and the price action going forward. We would need to hold this 78 cents or 80 cents as support. So those are just some of the things that I'm looking forward to. Of course, with all the fundamental developments that are happening, this is really an opportunity to get into Cardano under a dollar, in my opinion. And of course, you guys know, not financial advice, just sharing with you all some thoughts. So what do you all think? Are we going to hold that support with all the fundamental developments that are happening? Is there going to be some fireworks that take place in June with the Basile hard fork? Who knows? I would love to hear from you all. Let me know down in the comment section below. All right, everybody. Well, thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.